So in today's video, I wanted to show you how, bye. <laughs> there they go. Okay, take one. Are you finished? <laughs> take one. All righty, let's try that again. Look at my hair. See, that's why my hair is messy in all my videos. So in today's video, I wanted to show you how I mix up their bird seed. So the seeds are basically for a treat or just an extra supplement, especially for my small birds like my grass keys. I believe they need seed in the diet. And um, so anyways, I wanted to share with you how I mix up their seed. All right, so I'm gonna start with a cup of plain canary seed. A cup of white millet. A cup of red millet, a cup of brown flax seed, half a cup of rolled oats, quarter cup of hemp seed hearts, and one third cup of ancient grain blend. It's quinoa, millet, and buckwheat. Quarter cup of sesame seeds. A quarter cup of oat groats, one eighth of cup of chia seeds, half a cup of dried greens, herbs with chamomile, chamomile is it? Chamomile? Chamomile. Probably chamomile. Anyways, there it is. <laughs> one eighth of a cup of crushed almonds. And this is bee pollen. This is half a tablespoon. I usually add a whole one. I just didn't have a tablespoon, so I'll just put two half tablespoons. Birds love bee pollen. And finally, my last ingredient is nectar. Yes, nectar. I have a lorikeet and my lorikeet drinks nectar. has dry powder and wet powder. And all my birds go in this cage and drink it. And it doesn't hurt them. It's like eating flowers you know it's just a little bit it's just a half of tablespoon and once I stir this all up you can barely see it you know just to add a little bit of yummy taste and that's the last ingredient so now I'm gonna stir it up and generally when I feed it to my birds I, sh you know, shake it up or stir it up because, you know, some certain seeds and whatnot, the bee pollen, nectar, whatever, fall to the bottom. So I always just stir it back up and um, they can eat it. And then sometimes I will add uh, shreds of coconut. If I can find some edible flowers, here's the little flowers, chamomile, chamomile, is that how you say it? And um, they can eat some edible flowers, just make sure it's safe for birds. And basically anything I can find that birds will eat, I will put in here. And for my bigger birds, like my cockatiels especially, I try not to give them, you know, sunflower seeds. I give them sunflower seeds for a treat, but they can have um, safflower. Saf is called saf, safflower. I do have those seeds as well. So for my cockatiels, I will give them that. I do use it for treats. My Sierra parakeet loves um, safflower. I can't say it properly. So, Safflower, is that how you say it? Um, seeds for a treat. That's how every night he gets a few of them when he goes to bed. I give him those. He comes flying over to his cage and, and give him that. But uh, this is how I make it. You know, you can take some things out or you can add other things. You can, um, you know, look for your own recipe. But this is how I make it. And my birds love it. And look, it looks delicious. All my birds do get offered seeds, but their primary diet is fresh foods such as chop and sprouts. I sprout a lot of seeds, legumes, and grains. They get tree nuts for treats. Never feed peanuts, just tree nuts. And they get pellets, a healthy pellet. So seeds is like, you know, basically their treat and they love it. It's great for taming and training.
For more nutritional videos, click on the video on the screen and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my future videos. See you in the next one.